We're solving for x, and I knew uh, if I could get like bases, I could just say the powers have to be equal. That was something we saw in lesson 3.1. And then also in uh, lessons 3.2 and 3.3 for that matter, we, saw, we talked about like if this is log with a, com a common logarithm, meaning the base is 10, I could rewrite this as uh, 10 to the third power equals x, or as they did here, what they did is they just took the log of, or they raised each thing um, to the power of 10. So it's just a way of solving. Um, it, they just mix it around so that you can see how to rearrange and solve for things. All right, so here, we have to solve for this. What I would recommend we do is we need to get a common base. Okay, so to get a common base, we want uh, 16 cannot go into 4, but 4 can go into 16. So what we want our common base to be is 4. So 16 is the same thing as 4 squared. Now, if you don't know that, remember that's what upside-down division is, uh, or what it determines is 4 would go into 16 four times, so we see that that is 4 squared. So now I know that 4 to the power of x plus 2 is going to equal, and I'm going to replace the 16 with 4 squared and the parentheses to the power of x minus 3. Now, something you need to remember from Algebra 2 is that a power raised to another power multiplies. So you multiply here, we're going to have to distribute this through. So this would be 4 to the power of x plus 2 equals 4 to the power of, when I distribute this, I'll have 2x minus 6. So now I have this. Once I come to this spot, I know that x plus 2 is going to equal 2x minus 6. And I can solve this like Algebra 1. Uh, I typically like to move uh, the smaller amount of x's over to the larger amount of x's, so I'm going to move the x to the left side, which means I'm going to move the number value. Did I say the left? I'm sorry. This x on the left to the right side, and I'll move the number negative 6 to the right side. So I'll end up with 8 equals x when I combine my like terms there. And so now we know that x is 8, and that is our solution. And from there, we can move on to the next problem. Um, some techniques we've seen in the past. You are, you could graph this as F1, this is F2, and see where they intersect, and you again get 8. Uh, again, that's just another method of doing the same thing we're doing. Uh, I'll show you real quick. You could go new document. We could choose to graph. I'm going to say 4 to the power of x plus 3 as one equation. And the other equation was... 16 to the power of 2x, and I forgot the rest of it. Let me look over here. What was it? Oh, it was x plus 2. I'm sorry. And this one's x minus 3. x minus 3. And I need to change the other equation. It was x plus 2. Okay. So now that I change these, um, this should be my value. And so now we go to menu. And we're going to search for an intersection. So analyze graph. Uh, we want an intersection. And we think the answer is 8. Now I can go from all the way back here and look. And as I click, you'll see there's no intersection there. But when I'm going to drag it past here, it should tell me, yep, my intersection is at 8. So we did it correctly. Uh, I'm going to go on and try the next one. So again, that was just a technique of seeing how to solve it here. My common base, I'm going to say, is one-third. Or, if it makes it easier, I'm going to change this to 3 to the negative n equals 81. So, remember, uh, if you want to flip this, the reciprocal, you make the power negative. To the power of negative 1 times 2 thirds. Or, as we just learned from the previous example. Why is this direction? Uh, we could say that this is, when I go power to a power, I could rewrite this as 81 to the power of negative 2 thirds. Now, I'm going to change that to 81, and we want to do a common base of 3. So 3 goes into 87, or 81 27 times, and 3 goes into 27 9 times, 3 goes into 9 3 times. So this is 3 to the 4th power. That's what equals 81. And so now we just replace. So let's have, and so now we have 3 to the negative n 
equals 3 to the fourth times negative 2 thirds. Again, we're going to distribute that through. And so we'll end up with 3 to the negative n. I shouldn't say distribute because really it's just a multiplication. We'll equal 3 to the negative 8 thirds. So if negative n, uh, if negative n equals negative 8 divided by 3, that means positive n equals 8 divided by 3. And again, if you wanted to, you could graph to check your solutions, but that's, that should be uh, accurate there. So here's one for you to go ahead and try.